Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem A 2 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 14 edition. According to this problem, the tractor exerts a towing force of 400 LBs. We have to determine the normal reactions at each of the two front and two rear tires and the tractor frictional force on each rear tire needed to pull the load forward at constant velocity. The tractor has a weight of 7500 lbs and a center of gravity located at GT. An additional weight of 600 lb is added to its front having a center of gravity at GA. We have to take the coefficient of static friction as 0.4. The front wheels are free to roll. Now to solve this problem we have to draw the free body diagram. So at GT we have the weight of this tractor acting in the downward direction. At GA we have the weight of this additional weight also acting in the downward direction. At point C we have the normal reaction from the ground onto the rear tires. At point B we have the normal reaction onto the front tires due to the ground. Let's label them. So the vertical reaction at point C due to the ground is going to be 2NC. Why 2NC? Because we have two rear tires. So both tires will experience the normal reaction from the ground. This is the weight of the tractor which is 7500 lbs. And this is the additional weight of 600 lbs. And also at point B we have 2NB. Why? Because we have two front wheels and both of them will experience the normal reaction from the ground. That's why it's 2NB. Similarly, the frictional force experienced by the rear tires is actually 2F because we have two rear tires. And as the front wheels are free to roll, so there is no friction at the point B because the front wheels are free to roll. So this is our free body diagram. Now we can apply our equations of equilibrium, but before that we have to assume something. So our assumption is Assume that rear tires do not slip and truck is in equilibrium. We will verify this assumption later on. So now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. So my first equation is summation of moments at point C equals to 0. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the line of action of 2F and 2NC is passing through the point C, so these two forces do not have any moment arm with respect to the point C. So 2NC and 2F will not produce any moment about the point C. The towing force T is trying to rotate the tractor in counterclockwise direction about the point C, so the moment produced by this force T will be taken as positive. So T and the moment arm is this 2.5 pit distance. The 2NB is trying to rotate the tractor in counterclockwise direction about the point C, so the moment produced by this 2NB force will be taken as positive. So positive 2NB. And the moment arm is this 5 plus 4, so 9 feet. The 600 LB weight is trying to rotate the tractor in clockwise direction about the point C. So the moment produced by this 600 LB force will be taken as negative. So negative 600 and the moment arm is 9 plus 3, 12 feet. The weight of the tractor is trying to rotate the tractor in clockwise direction about the point C, so the moment produced by this weight of the tractor will be taken as negative. So negative 7500 and the moment arm is this 5 feet distance equals to 0. So upon simplification we have T which is 400 albies. So 400 into 2.5 plus 18 NB minus 7200 minus 
37, 500 equals to 0. So upon simplification, NB comes out to be 2,427.78 LBs. So this is our first answer. Now for the normal reaction NC, we can do summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have 2NC minus 7500 plus 2NB minus 600 equals to 0. So upon simplification we have 2NC minus 7500 plus 2NB and NB is 2427.78 LBs minus 600 equals to 0. So upon simplification NC comes out to be 1622.22 albies. So this is our second answer. Now we have to find the tractive frictional force. So for the tractive frictional force, we can do summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have negative t plus 2f equals to 0. So f is equals to t upon 2 and t is 400 albies. So f comes out to be 200 albies. So this is our third answer. But now we have to verify the value of tractive frictional force because earlier we had assumed that the rear tires do not slip. So we have to verify this condition. So for verification, so if rear tires do not slip, then there should be enough frictional force. So this force F has to be equals to or less than the F max. This is the maximum value of friction. And force F is 200 albies. And for the maximum frictional force, we can do coefficient of static friction into the normal reactions at rear tires, so NC. Coefficient of static friction is 0 0.4. So we have 200 is equals to or less than 0 0.4 into NC and NC is 1622.22. So upon simplification, F max comes out to be 648. 0.89 albies. Since the assumption that the rear tires do not slip has been verified, so we can give a conclusion. So the conclusion would be since F is less than or equals to F max. The rear tires do not slip. Hence the tractor is capable of towing 400 LB force. 
So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts in the free body diagram or in the equations of equilibrium, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. And if you want to learn more about the dry friction, then you can visit the link of the playlist in the description. Thank you.